Hey y'all, it's me, Siren on the Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. I hope you guys enjoy great. So let's get into a reading. For the collector. On the bottom of the deck, it's jumping to conclusions. On the top of the deck is cuffing season. Okay. So let's see. We got seven cards. Guarded. Somebody that's very guarded and protective over their heart. We got kicked out. Ooh, excuse me. Bound. Stuck in the past. Projection, obsession, stubborn. Jumping on conclusion, jumping to conclusions on the bottom of the deck. Cuffing seasons on the top of the deck. All right, so right off that, I'm seeing like there's a lot of people who could be projecting their energy onto you, right? And they either want, they are pushing fear onto you. Because they're fearful or they're, they could be, I don't know. These are people from your past though. I feel like they're obsessed with your energy and they're obsessed because, you know, they tried to like hold weigh you down, but they still ended up getting kicked out of your life. And they're assuming because of a relationship that you want to be in or that you're going into or that you are already in. They're assuming that your partner has something to do with you kicking them out of their life or kicking them out of your life. Guarded because it got real thick real quick. <laughs> Guarded. Guarded. Okay, so I feel like you could be like really in an energy of, you know, trying to show yourself a little more self-love. I feel like you're trying to balance out your emotions here. You're trying to make sure that your your um your cups are all in the upright position. I feel like you're releasing burdens here with this ten of wands in reverse. You're like, you know what? Y'all are just not about to weigh me down with none of your problems. Excuse me. And these people from your past, you're like, you're not about to weigh me down. Um, yeah. And I feel like you're moving forward. You're going to be moving forward here. Let's see. And then also, let me see. What else? Yeah, I feel like you're going through like a transformation here. 
I feel like you secretly, this is something that you're not exactly talking to anybody about. You're just kind of allowing yourself to go through it and just grow through it here. And this is causing a time moment here because now someone's in the space of trusting their intuition and um, manifesting from a heart, from their heart space and not from um, a fear space. I feel like someone doesn't want something to be over here with um, within a connection. With that popping out like that. Yeah, somebody's moving forward to a passionate new beginning here. And this could be somebody from your past who's coming back. Somebody from your past could be like, you know what? Here we go, lovers again. This lover, you... This is either you or someone from your past that you're going towards or if this person's coming towards you. I feel like they see you as wish fulfillment, right? They see you as wish fulfillment and they also, they want to release the burdens of not being able to talk to you. Like they miss you, I feel, and they're coming to communicate with you. So they're guarding and protecting their energy right now from other lovers because they see you. They see you, they're strategizing and pl plotting on you, right? They're planning on you. So let's see, what's this bound energy? Bound. 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 Okay, so I feel like someone here was once bound up mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Someone was just really tied up, couldn't move, couldn't think straight, couldn't do nothing. Just bound. And I feel like now you're moving on. You're being, you're allowing spirit to guide you with the six of swords. You're allowing spirit to guide you towards, you know, new beginnings, fresh starts. I feel like you could have really been indecisive and all in your head. You could have wasted a lot of time just going back and forth. Like, should I do this? Or should I do that? Or should I do, you know? And I feel like now, you know, you, you really are evaluating your options and you're like, you know what? There's only one way to go. And I think I just need to let go. What do they say? Let go and let God. Make a judgment call here. Releasing the bondage. I see you moving out of this bondage. What is this kicked out? Kicked out. Ten of swords in reverse. Whoever stabbed you is come back onto them. It's come back onto them. Or you could be avoiding something by kicking these people out. Okay? Yeah. Look, look at all them swords. Woo, baby. It's a lot of swords there. What's the kicked out card? Uh, kicked out, yeah. Follow the stars. Follow the star. I feel like you could have been very much indecisive for a while, but now it's like your cup is overflowing with like, I really feel self-love. And you know what? Self-love, every time you give yourself love, it multiplies in the love that is around you. So like, if you're filling your own cups up, people who don't fill their cups up automatically just start to fall off you, fall out. You start to fall out with them. They start to fall off from your life. They just start to just fall away like you're like get out get away from me like they don't want to be around you here you don't want to be around them they fall on their own swords because these could be people who are secretly creating illusions around you and i feel like you shining and taking time to heal and trust your intuition and move forward towards loving energy is helping you to um like move into a higher frequency yeah, I feel like someone decided to block everybody off and go within here. And now they're ready to move forward. You could have like really took time to go within self and learn yourself. And you're realizing that you're seeing all the patterns and things that were keeping you in a loop. This made you stronger. When you pulled back from everyone and just took time for yourself and started to pour into your own cup and decided that, you know, hey, maybe drinking all the time is not the way. You know, maybe I do need to do something a little better for me and my children. So you brought justice into your life by finding the strength to try something new, finding the strength to heal yourself, look at things that really hurt and actually analyze it and choose to go upon a different route. Now you're able to move forward. So let's check out stuck in the past. 
stuck in the past for people who were sneaking around, manipulating your energy. They were just lying, scheming. These are people, look, this card tried to pop out. That's a lying card. Somebody who always gossiping, talking shit. They could have been gossiping about you or gossiping about what you're doing or, you know, if they know anything about what you, who you really want to go towards. They were talking shit about this person. These are all people from your past who want to keep you in this low vibrational energy. And so they think like, oh, well, who he or she think he is, you know? So you see, somebody wanted to keep you in this like, player ways these like uh, well i'm gonna say whorish ways you know because at, at a certain point it's kind of like you you know when you don't value yourself enough to have or choose partners of substance you know that's like you degrading yourself here and i feel like someone is deciding not to do that no more not to be in this sneaky type of energy and hop from one person to the next person and continue to do things that they did when they were young okay or younger and i feel like now you are balancing out your energy you're really legit balancing out your energy and these people are jealous as hell they envious of you they're like oh so you think you better than so you think you, oh, so you think you're doing something now. Oh, so you think you're somebody. So you don't, cause, oh, because you don't go out to the club no more. Or you don't want to hang out all night and do nothing or whatever. I don't know what y'all do. <laughs> but see, this card tried to flip out and then the five of swords. They stressed out. You could have been having a lot. You could have been missing a lot of opportunities here. Always up all night, stressed out, partying, trying to uh, distract yourself, and always, always in some type of conflict and drama. See here with this devil card peeking out. There was always some type of low vibrational energy around you that was keeping you in a constant loop of just unnecessary, unnecessary turmoil. So I feel like now you're over that. Now you're over that. Okay. So let's see, what's projection? Projection. This is the conflict that's being sent towards you, okay? People are projecting their own demons onto you because that's what that whole, oh, who you think you are, oh, so you think you're better than no. I don't think I'm better than nobody, but obviously that's how you feel. You feel as though I'm, I'm elevating and now that makes you feel a way about yourself. But really, that shows you a lot about a person. If they're not happy for your elevation, were they ever really supposed to be around you? If you can't celebrate with them in good times, why, you know, why are they around? These are the type of people who only want you to be, they only want you to be like, they want you to be negative, you know, like, because they're negative. They're used to that. And so if you get into a space where you're positive and things are going well for you, you can't celebrate with those people because things are nine times out of ten still going to be going negative. So now your circle changes. Now your circle actually gets really small. Now you're probably alone until your frequency, your vibration attracts those who are on that same level. Sometimes it takes longer. Sometimes it doesn't take too long, but it just depends on how comfortable you are when it comes to coming out of this shell, coming out of this hermit mode, when you trust your intuition enough to go and speak to who it is that you're being led to speak to. And that's when your circle will grow, when you follow your intuition. So we're here as well with projection is saying your life is a, is your life is a projection of the energy you're putting out. People around you, if you were always like, you know, oh, woe is me. I ain't gonna never find nobody. I'm not good enough or whatever the case may be. You're gonna attract that. People are gonna look at you like that. They're gonna see you as somebody who's, who is not good enough. But if you tell yourself, I am good enough and I do deserve to have like, good friends, real love, supportive energy. I deserve the love that I give out. Somebody type that in the comments. I deserve the love that I give, okay? Because you do. So if you put out loving, positive vibes, that's what you'll get back, okay? Love yourself so that in return, the love continues to circulate. So this is dealing with like, you know, this is people from... This is first, this is people who you've known for a long time, possibly from your childhood, who, you know, feel as though, you know, they want to create problems with you because you're changing. You're not the same person anymore. You're, excuse me, you're, you're changing, you know, 
you're elevated. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. People who... It's, it's very rare that people who you grow up with continue to stay your friend if you choose to elevate your vibration. Okay? It's very rare. Um, unless they're choosing as well to elevate their vibration. But this is somebody who is a leader here. So these people from your past, you know, they were upset. Um, they could have been upset with you and shending conflict towards you because they weren't happy with their own lives. That's the truth. Closing out cycles. You, I feel like you're just cutting it all off. You're like, you know what? This is not in alignment with where I want to go. And where I want to go requires me to behave in this type of way. So if you got to go, then you got to go. And it got to be like that. Okay? Closing out all types of cycles. Now, because you're doing that, you're about to be blessed with, like, a super opportunity. Like, you're going to be like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> You're going to be like, thank God I walked away. So first off, we just saw the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay? That's that's amazing new energy here. You, you have Empress energy. Okay? You are birthing something new, creating abundance and wealth. Everything is multiplying around you. Your grass is very fertile. Okay? So be careful of the seeds that you plant. Be careful and mindful of what it is that you tell yourself in this time here because what you say will multiply. What you think will multiply. Don't be surprised when it happens. If you say, I'm about to make $20. Yeah, I'm going to make $20. And you believe that. Don't be surprised when you make that $20. You did that. Right? Or don't be surprised when you say, you know what? I'm about to get married to this person right here. Yeah, they're going to love me. We're going to have a great life. Don't be surprised. Do not be surprised. I'm telling you. Right now, whoever you are, you are in a super manifesting mode. Like, you can manifest like that right now. So be careful. And I mean, because, you know, manifesting is good or bad. It's up to you. You in an empress energy. You could be a man or a female. It's just telling me that you are very much in divinity and divine order right now you're in a divine energy and whatever you think and say is what will multiply okay now okay now so let's see obsession obsession okay we got a nine of swords somebody is stressed out thinking about something here we got the okay so somebody is stressed out here but i feel like that they're stressed out and in fear about some type of proposal or some type of offer that's coming in um you could be stressed out about this offer that's coming in or you could be stressed out about giving this offer something like that here with the obsession we clarify with the nine swords somebody can't sleep at night that's just how much they think about whatever this is and I feel like it does have to do with either moving, possibly. You could be getting ready to move. You'd be getting ready to travel. And I feel like this is going to help you further balance out your energy here. Somebody's just traveling. They're like, you know what? I'm about to get on the road and move. I'm about to go forward. I'm about to bring justice into my life. Type that in the comments. I am bringing justice into my life. Justice is mine. I deserve for things to be balanced out. I release my fears. I'm moving mountains in my life. You see what I'm saying? Be careful what you say to yourself. It will multiply. And don't be surprised when so when a thought that you have inside your head comes out of the mouth of somebody in front of you. But let's remember, you thought that. You set that intention. You put that energy out there to the universe. So what are you calling to you? Somebody is stuck in their mind. Look, somebody is super stuck in their mind right now. 
Okay? I feel like it's like somebody is super stuck in their mind, but I feel like it's about something that holds a lot of like powerful energy. Like this could be um a thing, a, a, a noun, a person, place, a thing. <laughs> With the sun card, that can be anything here. It's just something that makes this person feel really good. This sunshine light. There's a sunshine light. Oh, that's what it is. This empress. This empress is someone who's very strong. It's very, very strong. This is the sun. This person can create and manifest whatever they want. This person holds, create and manifest whatever they want. This person is extremely strong and powerful. So I feel like this person can penetrate through the darkest energies here with their light. And so I feel like someone who someone here is stressed out about moving forward and bringing justice in this situation. Or there's someone who's thinking about you as the empress who wants to move forward and bring justice towards you. Because they see how they manifested you walking away or them walking away. Whatever it is, I'm telling y'all, you guys are extremely powerful within this group that I'm reading for. If you thought for a second, oh, this person is never going to love me. They're just going to walk away like they always do. Or this person, you know, like this person could, you know, this person could never love me. I'm not good enough. Um, I'm too damaged. Or, I mean, anything that you told yourself of low vibration and the result was not one that was favorable or one that was uh a direct reflective of what you truly want in your heart it's because of that thought process that low vibrational thought process of something going wrong is what caused this to end or caused this to go in the direction that you didn't want it to go so now someone here is stuck and obsessed over this empress stressed out they don't sleep at night because they're thinking about this empress in the ways that they can move forward and bring justice for them and this person. But the first way to bring justice is to adjust the mindset. Think only good thoughts and that's what you will receive. And I'm not saying, you know, take away anybody's willpower. Because that's a big no-no. At least in my eyes. You never say, oh, this person is going to do this or this person is going to do that. No. You set the intention that the conversation will go well, everything will go smooth, and we will have a great time. That's totally different from this person will love me and do everything that I tell them to do. No. Mm -mm. We're not taking away nobody's willpower because then it becomes something different. So obsession can be healthy or it can be toxic. It's all about the way that you allow yourself to be led. Always allow yourself to be led. Sometimes you got to buckle your ego in the back trunk. <laughs> Under the trunk. Like, <laughs> be like, sit back and allow spirit to drive. Allow spirit to lead the way. Show you what you need to do. Show you what you need to say. But it is time to take action. Stubborn here. Let's clarify stubborn. Stubborn. Okay, first of all, this stubborn energy is low vibrational. And it's something that is not of light. Okay? This stubborn energy is a blockage. An energetic blockage. And so someone needs to realize that. Stop claiming yourself to be stubborn. Because then you have a bunch of blockages all around you. And you wonder why you can't move forward. Well, you always claim to be stubborn. So what you think God is giving back to you? Projection. Your life is, your life is a direct projection of the energy you are putting out. So if you always claim yourself to be damaged 
unhealed, unworthy, stubborn, what do you think you're going to get back? Towers. A lot of endings. A lot of unnecessary turmoil. Queen of Cups in reverse. Someone is being emotionally manipulative. That emotionally manipulative energy is unhealthy. Whether this is your energy or someone else around you, it's causing a blockage, okay? You cannot emotionally manipulate people and expect for your emotions to be respected. You can't guilt trip people. And that's something that you must unlearn. If that's how people treat you, you know how uncomfortable it makes you feel to be guilt tripped into something that you truly don't want to do. Take the time to release that energy. You don't always have to make people do what you want them to do. Give people space to be themselves and appreciate them for who they are. You'll get different results then. Okay. Follow your heart. It's time to follow your heart. Okay. I feel like you could be highly intuitive. You could be someone who's very confident, passionate. You could be an entrepreneur. You're just someone who, um, someone who's um, very like, you could be like a very patient individual here. Excuse me. And this King of Cups here, he's here as well. I feel like he could have been in the Knight of Cups energy. There's a lot of cup energy here. But he was, he, it's almost as though he needs to, um, he's keeping himself stuck by being in that Queen of Cups energy when really he's a King of Cups. So it's like he could be trying to emotionally manipulate you. And it's like, fuck are you doing? <laughs> it don't work like that. Especially if you're an empress, you know? If you're an empress, ain't nobody manipulate you emotionally no you didn't already graduated that 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 process you already you've already moved beyond that level emotionally manipulate huh <laughs> i feel like that's how you look at it like what or this is how the empress looks at it like what are you doing you know just just say how you feel close out close out the gap do what needs to be done right so let's see, what's the, let's clarify the tower, because I want to know. Da, 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 da. Victory and success. So I feel like once somebody chooses to release this toxic ass energy, whoever this queen of cups in reverse is, because this could even be somebody totally different. This could be somebody's um, ex, baby, this could be a baby mother, this could be a, um, a mother, this could be a auntie, this could be somebody who's just emotionally manipulative in your energy and toxic, low vibrational. In a tower, I feel like is you're still going to end up having victory and success. And this person is going to have to watch you be victorious because I feel like you're, you're still going to move forward because you're obsessed with whoever this is. And this is your Ten of Cups. Victory and success, Ten of Cups. You're going to have everything you want. Look at that Ten of Cups card. Rainbows. Okay. Rainbows. Reflections of light. Beautiful reflections of light. Tower. Speak your truth. Tower. Yeah. King of Cups. Yeah, okay. Yeah. See, this King of Cups missed out on an opportunity. But this King of Cups is also showing up as a King of Cups, not as an emperor, not as a not as a match to this empress until they decide that they're going to protect their energy. 
the moment this person begins to protect their energy, then and only then will they be able to meet this empress where she is. Because this empress is the type of person who I feel ain't about the she's not going to entertain um, fear mentality or, or lack mentality. That's something that she's has, you know, been training her brain to like snap out of. I'm not saying that this person is perfect, but it definitely takes some consistent like, hey, no, think like replace that bad thought with a good one real quick, real quick, you know, and I feel like somebody here also this King of Cups could have been in a defensive energy as well. This person could have been very defensive out of fear. Until they decided to go into hermit mode, find their confidence, build up your confidence, build up your confidence in hermit mode so that you can get in alignment with your destiny here. So that you can change the wheel of fortune. Yeah, somebody could have also been heartbroken here by a situation in the past with a family whether just be a family you created or a family that you were born into that, you know, kept you in a space where you felt blinded and you weren't really able to see around any illusions. You couldn't really see anything other, anything else other than, okay, well, this is the way it must be done because everybody's saying that this is the way it must be done or everybody is doing it this way. But here we go. Rebel, free spirit, fool, set yourself free. The fool is all about new beginnings, taking risks, being free, okay? Follow your heart towards um, something that's solid. Make a, create a plan for yourself that matches your dreams, not what everybody else is saying. Because again, I, I speak to the, the people who are, who dare to be different. I speak to those who who are like, you know what? I'm not about to do this because everybody else is doing this. I speak to the black sheep, okay? That's who I'm here for. And I will always encourage those who are different and unique to be, continue to be unique and different. Because the world needs more people who are not afraid of doing that and not afraid of being unique and, and different as a way to like showcase it for other people, but more so as a way to set your set your mind free. Let's see. <laughs> I'll be looking around like so what day? I'm feeling the purples, the purples, um, psychic, psychic vision one, or I, I can, I don't really remember the name of this one. It's been so long, but let's see. Um, um, they're telling me to tell you that I buy all my cards off of Amazon. All my cards come off of Amazon. You can find all these cards off of Amazon. Okay, these are oracle cards. Okay, oracles. So let's see. Um, let me see. Um, what's going to come of this situation with this collective person here? What's going to come of this situation with this with this collective? Okay, so it's going to take for someone to go within. I mean, all the way within. I'm talking deep within. And I don't mean deep within into zoning out while doing something. No, go deeper than that. Like deep, deep. Go deep. And when I mean say, when I say go deep, I mean like just go, go blank. Drop on your bed, put some hurts music on, 
hurts is like you know you can do like 693 hertz that's a good for your heart chakra and just zone out y'all felt that zone out you know just drop just drop when you do that there'll be a light there you follow that light that light this is going to help you see what's next. But, okay, let's see. Let me rewind. Set the intention to get the guidance for the next steps you need to take in order to move forward in a positive way. How can I get in alignment? God, show me how can I get in alignment. And then put on your Hertz music, headphones preferably. If not, a speaker, a regular phone next to your head is, is fine. Sit, drop. Breathe into your belly. Consciously breathe into your belly. Drop. Don't get scared. It's you. You're in full control. If you've never done this before, it will feel different. But don't be scared of yourself. This is you closing out the rest of the world and dropping and accepting your own energy and allowing God to speak to you and show you the light, okay? Your intuition will begin to heighten. Once you get into this heightened space of sensitivity, you'll begin to feel everything around you. Tingles and chills and rushes and, and all that good stuff. You may be able to feel it now, but just drop. You should feel it a little more every time that I say the word. Drop. From that point on, at the end of that meditation, you come back up and you move forward. Move forward. Follow the light. You see that? That person is looking up at that light that they asked to be shown. And that light is moving. Accelerated motion. I'm sorry. They're telling me to use a different word. Rise. Rise. You get into a higher state of consciousness when you close your eyes and lay back. Your mind will begin to elevate. Your senses will begin to heighten. You'll be able to hear everything, but on a vibrational level. I set this intention for you. It's going to feel amazing. And why I changed it from rise, from drop to rise, is because in both of these cars, they're looking up. So rise. As you get into your meditation, rise. So, anything else? Last one. Somebody could be feeling conflicted about a relationship. It's not over with. It all depends on if you're ready to do it. Are you ready to follow the direction that you receive in this rising session? Are you ready to heal your heart chakra? From the emotional loss? Are you ready to change the narrative that you are telling yourself? Are you ready? Archangel Raphael is really good for helping you heal your heart chakra. 
And you could just really invite him into your space by imagining green light all around you. And asking him to come and cleanse your energy spiritually, physically, emotionally. And shine light on different peaceful and positive ways that you can heal and move forward. As for alignment and alignment you will receive. And when you get into this alignment, do not be surprised when things that are misaligned begin to disappear. Rejection is the best protection. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Later. <laughs>